Hi, I'm Greg Mertz. I'm uh, one of the veterinarians. I'm also the CEO of New England Wildlife Center. First thing I would like to say is thank you for being a volunteer at New England Wildlife Center. Thank you for doing the grunge work of cleaning windows and sweeping floors and mopping uh, all those kinds and taking the trash out, all those kinds of things that help the hospital and help animal care proceed smoothly and uh, efficiently for the center. Really appreciate that. What I'm going to try to do today is do a little bit of a demonstration about one of the skill sets that we need and we need uh, a lot of at the New England Wildlife Center. I would like to say before I start though is that there's all different kinds of learning and there's all different kinds of knowing stuff. You may know, you may know that a blue tongue skink has a three chambered heart. Okay, a blue tongue skink, it's a type of lizard, has a three chambered heart. That's a fact. But it doesn't mean that you know how to sweep a floor. Sweeping a floor is a skill set. And if you really want to be effective, if you really want to really be engaged in the care of animal care, if really engaged in animal care, you want to know facts and concepts, but you also want to know how to do things. And as simple and as elementary as this seems, knowing how to sweep is one of those underlining underpinnings of what kind of a animal caretaker or veterinarian or veterinary technician you're going to be. I can tell people who now have it, know how to sweep and know how to sweep well. People who know how to sweep have a spring in their step, have a real purpose in what they're trying to accomplish and how they go about doing it. Let me give you a couple of demonstrations. I have a push broom here and I sometimes see people sweeping like this where they just simply are walking along behind the broom, pushing dirt off to the sides, into the hallway. They're not really accomplishing much of anything. In a hallway this wide, a push broom is good, but you need to work on all sides. You need to get all the dirt. You can't just walk along behind. When you come to a crack or a crevice or a pillar in the wall, you need to have another broom with you. And another broom would be a hand broom. You're going to pull the dirt from the, out of the cracks and sweep it out into the middle of the floor, at which point you can then take your push broom and broom it down the hall to where you are going to um, collect it in a dustpan. Now just a second ago, just a minute ago, I found this note on one of our doors, and the note says, do not sweep dirt into this room. That's one of the things you cannot do at the England Wildlife Center. You have to be able to sweep the dirt into a dustpan, and you have to put it into a garbage bag, into a garbage can with a bag in it, and that dirt has to be taken out to the dumpster. One of the reasons for this is we're dealing with animals. Animals carry diseases. Animal and animal dirt is a potential hygienic and potential health problem for people. So it's got to be swept, it's got to be collected and put into the garbage can. Now I have, and again, I want to reiterate, I started this by thanking everyone for what they do and I really sincerely mean that. It's just not easy. I have one other pet peeve in how our dirt gets swept up and cleaned up. And it has to do with dust pans. This dust pan I just found this morning, and this dustpan, frankly, is an abomination in front of the Lord. Okay, this dustpan, no dustpan should ever be this dirty. When you are finished sweeping, you want to take that dustpan and clean it in the sink. You take it to the sink, you scrub it down, you wash it off uh, with soap and water so that when you're finished, you have a completely um, clean and shiny dustpan. If you find a dustpan you can't do that with, come to one of us, we will throw it away and get a new dustpan. Once again, for the third time, thank you so much for what you do. Uh, working at the Wildlife Center is a really, helping us is a really big help to helping us care for the wildlife and the pets uh, that we care for here. Thank you very much.